हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर सतीश एस बोरनारे डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जेनेटिक्स एंड प्लांट ब्रीडिंग केकेवा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नासिक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द टॉपिक इकोसिस्टम एंड इट्स स्ट्रक्चर सो फ्रेंड्स बिफोर वी गोइंग टू डिटेल इन द इकोसिस्टम लेट अस सी व्हाट इज इकोलॉजी फर्स्ट सो दिस इकोलॉजी टर्म वाज पॉइंट बाय द साइंटिस्ट अर्नस्ट हेकेल इन ईयर 1869 and this ecology term having two words derived from greek words oikos and the logos this oikos means home and logos means study so ecology deals with the study of organism in their natural home interacting with the their surroundings and the surrounding or the environment consists of other living organism that is biotic component and physical component that is a biotic component so this modern ecologist believe that an adequate definition of the ecology must specify some unit of the study and one such a basic unit described by the scientist tensley in 1935 was ecosystem so this ecosystem word was coined by scientist tensley in 19 35 and according to him the system resulting from the integration of all living and non living factors of the environment is nothing but the ecosystem and now the ecology is often defined as the study of ecosystem so this is the interrelation between ecology and ecosystem so the characteristics of the ecosystem according to the smith these are the general characteristics of ecosystem in which the first one is the ecosystem is a major structural and functional unit of ecology and the structure of ecosystem is related to its species diversity as such more complex ecosystem has high species diversity third one is relative amount of energy required to maintain an ecosystem depends on its structure the more complex structure the lesser is the energy it required to maintain itself so this is the inverse relationship then fourth one is the function of ecosystem is related to energy flow in material cycling through and within the system fifth one is ecosystem mature by passing from less complex to more complex states states early stages of a such a succession have excess of potential energy and later on when the ecosystem is mature then that in that stages have less energy accumulation so these are the another property or characteristics of eco ecosystem then next one is both the environment and the energy fixation in any given ecosystem are limited one then last one is alterations in the environments represent the selective pressure upon the population to which it must adjust and organisms which fail to adjust to the change environment must vanish so the alterations is happened in the environment and in the ecosystem and we have to or organism have to cope with this environment so these are the different characteristics of the ecosystem then the type of ecosystem broadly these ecosystems are characterized or categorized as natural ecosystem and artificial ecosystem these artificial ecosystems are man made or man engineered ecosystem like likewise the uh, gardens crop uh, crop area agro ecosystems like these are the examples of artificial e ecosystem and natural ecosystem there are two types of natural ecosystem terrestrial and aquatic and example of these terrestrial ecosystem ecosystems are forest grassland and desert ecosystem while in case of aquatic ecosystem these aquatic ecosystems are again divided into two types that is fresh water ecosystem and marine ecosystem in fresh water eco marine ecosystem uh, oceans uh, sea estuaries are the example while in case of fresh water ecosystem 
these are again divided into two types lotic and lentic this lotic ecosystem means the running water ecosystem that is river stream and lentic means the uh, standing that is pond lake etc so this is the just uh, the overview of the ecosystem types or structure then what is the natural ecosystem the natural ecosystem is the result of inter interaction between organism and its environment for example an ocean classified as a marine ecosystem which consists of algae consumers and decomposers so these are the naturally occurring ecosystems and a cycle occurs in this type of ecosystems uh, begins with the algae converting energy via photosynthesis so this algae are uh, producers in case of ocean ecosystem after consumers feed on that algae and energy is transferred between the organisms once consumer die the in this system the decomposers turn them into organic matter thus the energy is flow in this natural ecosystem the process occurs naturally over a period of time whereas in artificial ecosystem human intervention is required so in case of natural ecosystems this process occur naturally and there is no human intervention in this uh, type of ecosystem next one is a artificial ecosystem the artificial ecosystem is not self sustaining an ecosystem would not perish without human assistance so here human uh, intervention is must or most or uh, this in uh, this ecosystems are created by man so for example a farm is an artificial uh, ecosystem that consists of plants and species outside their natural habitat so without human this ecosystem could not sustain itself the plants and animals need to help of human to uh, humans to eat and survive so this is the man engineered ecosystem and another one major difference between the natural ecosystem and artificial ecosystem is the diversity the natural ecosystem having more diversity as compared to the artificial one and this natural ecosystem contain more natural factors and organisms and thus there is more diversity the food chains are simple and often incomplete as other species are killed as pests or weeds so in case of this artificial ecosystem food chains are simple and sometimes it may be incomplete due to the less number of the species then the structure of ecosystem this this is the um, broader view of the structure of ecosystem in which the ecosystems are classified as a biotic and a biotic component and in a, a biotic component this is again divided into two types that is at autotrophs and heterotrophs the trophs means the uh, nourishment autotrophs means they are self nourishing and heterotrophs they are depend on other organism for their nourishment so in case in this autotrophs producers or plants are the example of the autotrophs while in case of heterotrophs they the zeotrophs are again divided into two types that is macro consumers and micro consumers so these macro macro means large or bigger consumers they they are again divided into primary secondary and tertiary these primary consumers secondary consumers and tertiary consumers are depend upon each other they are eat or eating by others so these macro consumers are the heterotrophs in case of micro consumers the decomposers uh, like bacteria and fungus are involved this is the just overview let us see in detail one by one so first uh, biotic component this biotic component means the living component of the ecosystem plants animals and microorganisms present in the ecosystem forms the biotic component of any ecosystem so these biotic components are again divided as we see earlier the classification now let us see in detail first one is autotrophic component or a producer so they are mainly a green plants as name indicates they are producers what they produce they can synthesize their food themselves 
by making use of the carbon dioxide present in the air water present and the sunlight by involving the chlorophyll pigment this is the green pigment present in the leaves through the process called as photosynthesis and as we all know that for photosynthesis produce the energy so this this is the reaction of photosynthesis in which the complex molecule is produced later on this uh, complex molecule is broken down and energy is released so they are these producers are also known as photoautotrophs because in presence of light they uh, produce their own foods so they are also called as photoautotrophs here auto means self trop means the food that is nourishment and photo means the light so these producers are also called as photoautotrophs and there are some uh, microorganisms also which can produce the organic matter to some extent through the oxidation of certain chemicals in the absence of sunlight and they are known as chemosynthetic organism or chemoautotrophs so instead of sunlight they using the chemicals different chemicals and produce the uh, food their own food so they are called as chemosynthetic organism or chemoautotrophs so these are the autotrophic component that is producer next is heterotrophic component are also called as consumers all organisms which great get their food by feeding upon the other organism are called as consumers so these are the uh, organisms which depend upon the other organisms for their foods and hence uh, they are called as heterotrophs heter means dif uh, depend on different organisms for their trop means the nourishment so in heterotrophs first are macro consumers macro consumers are the consumers which in order to uh, their uh, get their food they they occur in food chain as a herbivores carnivores or omnivores so these macro consumers are again divided into three types as a primary consumers or herbivores they are herbivores means they are plant eaters they feed directly on the producers that is plants and hence also called as primary consumers for examples the insects man rat goat deer these are the some examples of primary consumers or herbivores they are directly feed on the uh, producers that is plants then second one is secondary consumers are also called as primary carnivores they are meat eaters means they feed on the primary consumers and they feed on herbivores are called as secondary consumers as they feed on herbivores or uh, primary consumers they are called as secondary consumers means there are two nomenclature for that secondary consumer or primary carnivores and examples are frog uh, cat snake foxes small fishes etc and last one is tertiary consumers or top con uh, top carnivores are also called as secondary carnivores It, they are also meat eaters they are depend on the secondary consumers or primary carnivores for their food for example the tigers lion big big fish etc these are the some of the example of tough carnivores or secondary carnivores or tertiary consumers so these macro consumers are again divided into three types that is primary consumers secondary consumers and tertiary consumers and this diagram explain the different types of producers and consumers so these are the different producers that is green plants uh, upon which the herbivores are feed they are primary consumers and these primary consu consumers are eaten by the secondary consumers that is carnivores and these carnivores are eaten by the tertiary consumers or top carnivores like lion or tiger etc so this is the uh, food chain then second type of the consumer are micro consumers they are popularly known as decomposers mostly they are saprotrophs or osmotrophs they derive their nutrition by breaking down the complex organic molecule to simpler one organic compound and ultimately into the organic nutrients various bacteria fungus and actinomyces are the example of the decomposers and in all ecosystem these uh, 
biotic structure prevails however in some it is primary produces producers which predominant for example in case of forest agro ecosystem the primary producers are dom- predominant what and while in others decomposers are predominant for example in deep ocean this decomposers are more in number so these are the second type of consumer that is micro consumers then the abiotic structure of the ecosystem now up till now we have completed the biotic structure of ecosystem now the abiotic so abiotic component so this abiotic component includes the basic inorganic organic compound of the environment or habitat of the organism so inorganic compounds of the ecosystem are as carbon dioxide water nitrogen calcium phosphate etc all of these are involved in matter cycle that is bio chemical cycles and these are the all inorganic compounds which uh, a part of abiotic so abiotic component of the ecosystem then besides this there are some organic components also these organic components of ecosystems are proteins carbohydrates lipids amino acids and all all of these are synthesized by uh, biota flora and fauna that is plants and animal of ecosystem and are rich to the ecosystem as their waste dead remain etc so the organic components then third one is a physical factors like climate temperature wind humidity light soil etc are the other abiotic component of the ecosystem so these abiotic component consist of inorganic component then organic component and physical factors thank you this video is for educational purpose only and references are as below thanks once again